Welcome to this Tech Tip video. This is a quick look at a cam card from Summit Racing Equipment. Using data on the card, we'll model the camshaft in an engine simulation and then rate the card for clarity and ease of use. The cam is a hydraulic roller lifter design with a recommended speed range of 4000 to 7500 RPM. It's designed for single or twin turbocharged Gen 3 small block Chevys. Let's begin modeling by entering lobe lift heights into DynoSim 6. Intake lobe lift is clearly indicated as 368 thousandths and exhaust is 356. Rocker ratios are 1.7 to 1. And since this is a hydraulic lifter cam, running lash is zero. A quick check confirms that maximum valve lift matches the cam card at 625 and 605 thousandths. The cam card provides valve timing events at the SAE standards of 6 thousandths inch for primary timing and 50 thousandths inch for secondary timing. Since DynoSim 6 requires these SAE standard timing events to model the valve train, we can directly enter the data from the cam card into the simulation. The primary timing is 34 for IVO or intake valve opening, 77 for IVC, 90 for EVO, and 27 for EVC. The secondary timing is 10, 51, 65, and 3. Notice that the simulation can directly calculate the intake and exhaust centerline values from the valve timing events. With all data entered, DynoSim 6 completes the engine simulation that includes a twin turbo induction system. With about 14 psi of boost, the engine develops 900 horsepower at 7,000 RPM, with torque ranging between 6 to 700 pound feet from 5,000 to 7,000 RPM. To say this would make an impressive street engine would be an understatement. Now let's review how well the Summit Cam Card provided the information we needed. 1. This card is well organized and includes much more than just the basics, although it is lacking cam timing graphics that can help visualize the relationships between timing events. 2. Both primary and secondary lift heights and timing events are provided. The card clearly states that all lift values are based on zero lash measurements. It also includes a lobe centerline angle and intake and exhaust centerlines. 3. The SAE standards for valve timing are used. This simplifies engine simulation and real-world cam installation. 4. Primary and secondary duration values are also provided, making it easy to cross-check timing events. 5. One minor nitpick is while the card indicates the cam was manufactured with 5 degrees of built-in advance, to eliminate confusion I would like to see a note stating that all specifications on this cam card include 5 degrees of advance. In summary, the cam card was nearly perfect. My thanks go to Summit for trying to make it easy as possible to install and model their performance camshafts. Check out our other videos on camshafts that include five other cam card reviews and additional engine simulation and cam modeling tips. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know in the comments below. And if you have a specific cam card that you would like to see modeled and evaluated, send a clear photo or PDF to support at motionsoftware.com and we'll share it in an upcoming video. Thanks for watching.